Well, good morning. This is Pastor Marvin Osborne with First Baptist Church of Birmingham, Ohio. I hope you're well. Today we're going to talk about maybe um, a very a pertinent topic because it um, I think it's it's going to come into play as we get into a, a post Christian era, uh, more hedonistic type of mentality here in our country, uh, where Christianity is no longer tolerated. It, we're getting into a situation where it's it's us against them. That uh, mentality that uh, either you believe as we believe, or you are uh, we're not going to tolerate you anymore. And, and in truth, um, the lines of of what society believes and what we believe according to the Word of God are so are are, are expanding. I mean, before it was may have been a a very fine line, but not that's not true anymore. Uh, we we see that uh, the the disparity between what what secular society believes and what the Bible teaches and what churches should be teaching is vastly different, and people are going to get more and more hostile. And how would God want us to treat uh, those who are against us? Uh, uh, those who maybe in the workplace, those who are in the in in the uh, our, our neighbors, and, and so forth. How are we supposed to act and react in hostile situations. Well, the Bible has not left us ignorant when it comes to those things. Look what it says in in uh, Proverbs 25, 21 through 22. It says, If thine enemy be hungry, give him bread to eat. And if he be thirsty, give him water to drink. For thou shalt heap coals of fire upon his head, and the Lord shall reward thee. In other words, God is watching how we react in hostile situations to hostile people. Now, this does not mean that we can't protect ourselves. It doesn't mean that um, that we, we're doormats. It doesn't mean that uh, we uh, just let everybody abuse us. But it's saying here that that we are God has given us opportunity to minister to the unsaved. And to do, to minister to the hostile by doing good in spite of their evil, and the blessing rather than cursing as they've cursed us. He says here that if your if your enemy be hungry, give him something to eat. Oh, you know what? You know what? I remember when you said this about me and everything else, and and uh, there's no way I'm going to share my lunch with you. Yes, you lost. You left your lunch at home. And uh, I have a few dollars in my pocket. I'm not going to give it to you uh, the way you treat me. The Bible says, hey, that's not the way we're supposed to treat them. If he's hungry, we need to give him something to eat in spite of how he treats us. We're supposed to do it because the Bible says here, the Lord shall reward thee. In other words, God is watching us. He says, if, you're hung if your enemy be hungry, give him something to eat. If he be thirsty, give uh, Give him water to drink. Buy him a Coke. Buy him something to, to drink. If he's thirsty, meet that physical need, if you can meet it. And thou shalt keep coals of fire on his head. What's that mean? I mean, there's going to be a slow burn there. I mean, he's going, to, he's, going to be, he's going to remember this. He may look at you and say, what's your angle? What are you after? You think this is going to uh, bring you in my good graces? No, it's simply saying that you and I, as we as we do this, as we as we uh, help those in need, regardless of how they've treated us, I think it opens the doorway of sharing the gospel with them, or at least building a bridge with them, where one day they can share the gospel. You can invite them to church or, or whatever else. I know that's been true in my life, where I've, uh, in spite of how people treated me, I've tried to uh, to bless them when given the opportunity because it you know it's many times it's not so much that they hate you but they hate the god that's in you you know what i mean they don't know why they don't like you but boy there's something about you that just rubs in the wrong way you know what that is <laughs> it's jesus christ because jesus lives in you and you don't live the way they live that you know what when you come into a room uh, the jokes kind of stop, or they should, 
because here comes a Christian into the room. Uh, when you, they don't invite you to the parties because who wants you at one of their drinking parties? They don't ask you out to the bar. And they don't. Have, why? Because you are a conviction. You are a walking conviction for them of their sins. You're a light in a dark world. You know. You know. Uh, if you've ever lived in a place with roaches, you understand that when the lights come on, the roaches flee. And um, and so when you, uh, as a reflection of God's light in this world, you enter into the, the lunchroom, guess what? Those conversations tend to stop. They tend to stop um, talking that way. I know I found that uh, when I was a teamster, when I was a young person. And people knew who I was and, and what my beliefs were. And I'd enter into the lunchroom. And I really wasn't welcome there. I wasn't welcome there. Why would they want me there? And uh, and it was just simply Christ in me. Because I hadn't done anything to those people. I'd be kind and, and be nice to them and help them. And, um, and let God do the rest. Amen. So he's saying here in this hostile world that we live in. Let's seek to do good. Let's not try to. Uh, pay back people, you know, uh, now's my time. Now, now I'm going to show them, you know, I'm you're thirsty. Good. I'm glad you're thirsty. Look at me with my nice, uh, uh, glass of Coke here. No, that's how we act. You know what? We can reach into our pocket, give them a dollar fifty to get a pop out of the machine or give them a couple of bucks so they can go down to McDonald's and bless them. And don't worry about getting the money back. Bless them. And let that work on them. Let the Spirit of God work in their lives. Amen. Because the Bible says, the promises, and the Lord will, re re will reward you. Isn't that great? God watches all these things. I think maybe he sets us up. He lets these things happen in our life to see how we're going to react. And uh, and uh, so it gives us opportunities to earn eternal reward. Amen. Remember that God loves you. And I love you as well. Talk to you soon.